Hey yo, it's so, um, I'm just gonna do a quick so show. Uh, it's not really, it's ma mainly about Lisa and the treatment of, um, like colorism and, um, racism in K-pop, I guess, and just my thoughts about that. So I've actually noticed from like the very beginning that Lisa wasn't getting the fair amount of treatment as the other three members and that always upset me but I didn't realize it was like a regular thing until just recently and that's not good and I guess the company isn't used to it because I just found out she's their first non-Korean um, artist to debut so I guess they don't know what to do with her but I'm kind of wondering if part of that is is I don't know. I don't want to think negatively, but it makes me worry because I still, I just turned 25. I feel so old, but I still want to be a K-pop star. I'll be like the, the, um, the first, um, um, what's it called? Plus size K-pop star. <laughs> Cause there's, I, I can't, I, what is the, the smallest I can be and survive is 130 pounds. If I were any smaller than 130 pounds, I'd be dead. And they're all like 100 pounds. But I'm five foot nine, and I'm very muscular and curvy. And I don't want to get breast reduction surgery. I've thought about that. But I really don't... I would want to have as little surgery as possible. Um... But right now I'm dealing with health issues. I have hypo hypomania hype whatever but I definitely be open about my um bipolar depression with whatever company I would work with and um hopefully they would uh accommodate me Com uh, yeah and treat me well but I have to work really hard too um my favorite artists are in uh, SM, Starship, YG, um, and Big Hit, but I don't know, I'm, t I like aged out of most stuff, so I'm just trying to audition wherever I can, I only know how to audition for SM, so, I don't, I don't know. They're honestly the only, the only, I've, I've tried probably like every K-pop company and SM's like the only people who ever got back to me. Um, if I hadn't gotten a hacker on my phone call when they called me when I was, it was the summer when I was like 20, 21 or something. I was just turning 21. I don't remember. But, um, somebody hacked my phone call and I hadn't. I wasn't able to contact them since, so that was a pain and really depressing because that was like my dream call. Ha! <sighs> but what God has for me is for me, and He takes all the bad stuff and He will work it out for good. I gotta remind myself that. And it's hard to memorize. I have to memorize a lot of songs. There's so many, like, contemporary Christian songs I have to learn for, um, church and like Easter's coming up and I don't even know what song we're gonna sing but I really hope I get to lead it um because I've never led a song before but I really want to I think I'm ready for it it's been what'd she say three 36 weeks I don't know, but it's been a long time since like South Point has been um digital and we usually just replay the same um the same videos and I didn't feel comfortable going out in public cuz like I have my gr I live with my grandma or my grandma lives with me, whatever. But um she so so I just didn't feel comfortable doing the the recordings in the state in the place. So basically I just had a break from that. 
So I've been able to like take care of my mental health and my physical health. I've I've lost about 20 pounds so far. Um, it's frustrating because I do weights and I'm on the treadmill. So I'm like muscular and lean, but it's like, I don't know. I guess I, that, <laughs> that's kind of weird to compare, but if you like think, I don't, I don't know. I don't know of any muscular female K-pop stars. I feel like I'd be too bulky, but I'd be like Wonho. <laughs> I love working out. Like, I don't like love it, but it's like, I don't know. I'm never going to be a skinny mini. I never was. I never will be. I just, that's just not how I'm built. And I used to have this mindset that if, um, like, if you, if you can't accept me how I am, then I'm not going to deal with you. But now I feel kind of desperate. So I'm like, if any K-pop company would accept me, I'm just gonna be like, yes, I'll, I'll do it. Just to like, at least experience being a trainee and see if I want to do it or not. In my old age, <laughs> in the ripe old age of 25, <laughs> when I was a kid, we had to go uphill both ways to get... <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm being silly. I'm really loopy. I I probably seem drunk. I, I know I seem drunk, but um, I'm not. I'm, I just haven't slept. Oh, I need food. I, f I keep forgetting to eat. <laughs> Usually I eat too much, but now I'm just like, I don't want food. Um... I just want to dance. I just want to sing. Huh. I just want to, I just want to dance. I just want to sing. I just want to do most anything. I want to be with you. Do you want to be with me? Ooh, ooh. I just want to dance. I just want to sing. What did I just sing? What? da, 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 da. We can do, together we can do anything. I should record that. I don't know. That just popped into my head. That's how my songs are just like, boop. But, um, I just want to dance. Ooh, ooh, I just want to dance. Ooh, 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 I just want to dance. Two, three, four. Whoa, ooh, oh, I just want to dance, ooh, oh, four, whoa, ooh, oh. Oh, my favorite, nobody asked me these questions because I block my stuff because people were harassing me and, yeah. But, um, something to know about me, my top three favorite songs that I've written are C, um, But I'm Sorry, and questions excuse me questions is a contemporary christian song i wrote um c is oh i'm sorry i didn't i didn't mean to do that c is a it's just kind of a, an uplifting song i guess um and what i just i just said the other one c questions tag nab it well you heard me say it it's recorded but but um, I guess I'll go with five so I don't end up flipping to the bird. Um, Lullaby is one of my favorites because it would help me go to sleep. Um, I should probably sing it now. I used to have to sing it every night. I hated my my teacher. I won't say his name, but in middle school, my seventh grade teacher, he was a nice guy, but he couldn't, he couldn't teach me the way that I understood. He just, I didn't understand his teaching style. So, um, I was like stressed out in math class really bad and I was in AAU basketball and the school basketball team and the school musical. And then in the summers I was in those musicals and I just was, that's why in high school I did literally no corrective, correct, 
extracurricular activities because I was just like kind of burnt out and I did what actually that's not liter literally no none I did one my freshman year and we ended up collectively bringing between the the chorus the band and the orchestra we all came in like first and second place so we brought the school back um five trophies and I was so proud of us and I was kind of like you know what this even though this is my freshman year I'm just gonna end in strong and <laughs> just try and barely get through high school because I hated it and I'm like trying to fight through college and I don't know what I want to do because it's like everybody's like oh being a k-pop star is a dream job you need to be realistic and I'm like okay well I like taking photos I like sketching I've been a receptionist for like five years um so I like people but I still in the end when I think what I actually really want to do is being a k-pop star and like you can imagine me talking to like my grandma about that she's like that's ridiculous with her mindset is there's nothing now I feel like I'm talking bad about my grandma I don't mean to do that but with like generational differences and I know she just wants what what's best for me but I've been praying a lot about it and I think I don't know we'll see I'll just keep being patient I think God's just telling me to wait and keep doing what my parents say and being a good person and stuff um Oh, look at my little buddy. <laughs> I have um, two big ones. I have ZZ Gum and Honey Gum. And I have the the medium one with the outfit. I have the pink one. I have Ming Gum. And then I have all of the keychains. <laughs> so I have, I, I have like an addictive personality. I collect so many things. I actually collect keychains, so... Um, I have those keychains, but they're not, I'm never going to use them because someone, I feel like someone's going to steal them or I'll lose them. They're just like for show, but I do collect keychains and other stuff, I guess. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was supposed to be talking about Lisa <laughs> and I totally went off track, but yeah, so I, I was thinking, imagining what it would be like to be a trainee and dealing with colorism and racism and just the the normal struggles of being a trainee based on what my friend told me and what I've read about and stuff and I like try and weigh that against how much I actually want to become a k-pop star and if if it's worth it to to give all the effort and to cry all the tears, to fight all the battles, <sighs> just, uh, I don't know, because I know Alex went through a lot, and that's so funny, because I was, when I was gonna do an online debut, I was in two online K-pop companies, but one of my names was, I was gonna go by Lexi, and I thought it was so funny that the, the first black the first African American K pop star in an official um group is um um I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, we have similar names. She's Alexandra though. I'm Alexis. But uh they abbreviate similarly. I keep having to change my name. I need to copyright it. I'm just gonna go by P H I A. I'm just gonna be Fia. Because there's so many Sophias, there's so many Alexis's, <laughs> there's like, it's not, I'm not very unique, I guess, but, um, I don't know. I know I have, I have an artist signature, but I, I've never thought of, I don't know what my, um, signature would be maybe I could just use my the same signature I use for the art that I make oh, I did a lot of art lately it was so good I had um I colored two 
two pictures in an, in adult coloring books. Um, one was a really exotic fish, and the other was a bunch of zebras that were very intricately um, colored with crayon. And I wish I had used colored pencil. <laughs> um, the uh, <sighs> colored pencil. I lost my train of thought. I hate mania. Uh, I didn't, I can't find a light near me, so I had to pause Monster X shootout on, on the, um, where, in a freeze frame where the, the background is white to give more light, but I still look, I still look, I don't know, I'm looking all, I'm looking all crusty. But y'all know I try and keep a 100, so I, I'm not, I don't hide from people. But I don't know how I would fit in or if I would fit in. Hopefully and prayer for, prayerfully, if God does want me to become a K-pop star, I could be the, the first African-American K-pop star to debut under SM if they accept me. Just because they're the, they're the only company I can audition for because everybody else just... I think I already said this. I'm getting... Um, um, Deja vu, but yeah, I, I did say that already, but, um, cause I'm too, I guess, no, I can, I can audition for, um, size company, but there, nothing against him. It's just that like, I appreciate him and his music and his people's music, but it's just not my style. So it's like, I can't be in a company where the music's not relatable I don't know. I feel like ever since I was 11, I started writing songs when I was like eight or nine. And since I was 11 getting into K-pop, I, um, kind of, my style kind of grew a bit with K-pop, but I always, all my bias groups were in SM. So they, um, I don't know. Oh, Sorry, I thought I was doing that in my head. Um, yeah, but uh, no matter what I do, I'm gonna fight really hard. I'm gonna fight this mental illness and fight racism and fight colorism and just fight for doing the right thing in general and fight for the right to be myself and not change with like a bunch of surgery. But I wonder if I could medically give a reason to not get surgery because I'm not, um, because the medicines I take from being bipolar are, um, they already mess with my body enough. So it might be too harmful for me to get any kind of surgery. Um, I don't know. If anything, I'd, I'd get like lipo and maybe like some kind of breast reduction, but I'm, I'm actually, I, I, I'm trying to just lose it naturally and keep doing my weights and treadmill almost every day and just gradually lose about a pound or two a week. Um, cause that's a healthy way to do it. And I feel so impatient. But as I said, I've lost like 20 pounds. So that means it's been like 20 weeks that I've been working on this. So it's a regular battle. I know lots of people, it's it's like a trend now to post your before and afters. But I think it's important to know the in-betweens are like the fights when you don't want to get up in the morning and like before the sun gets up and do whatever it is you don't want to do. But um it's worth it in the end. I can't wait to see my dream bod. My goal weight is actually 160 pounds because like my body type is muscular. And again, I'm five foot nine. So that's like 175 centimeters. So I'm basically the size of your average male K-pop star. So I guess that kind of makes sense why they have 
why the girls are only like a hundred pounds because for the ratio never mind I'm gonna stop talking but anyway God bless Lisa I know she's not gonna I don't know what'll happen but um oh, my brains what are they called blinks yes we're blinks sorry we <laughs> we're always with you and we're supporting you and we're sorry I guess I can't speak for everybody but I can like totally relate to what you're going through keep fighting Lisa and Rose too and everybody else in the k-pop industry who's dealing with colorism and or racism I'm there with you love you 사랑해 감사합니다 so out